All right, what's good, y'all? So today I wanted to hit on this top rappers part two that I feel like is bisexual or I get DL bisexual vibes on. Hold on. Wanna break you off? Relax and unwind. Could you ever fall in love with a young nigga like myself? And I've been thinking about you. This is the second part, part two, to the Dio rappers and bisexual Dio rappers that I feel like exist that have not came out yet, but y'all get what it is, you know what I'm saying? This is part two. Now, I had a lot of good ones on part one, but I definitely forgot about a lot of them, and I thought I was really covering, like, mostly all of them, but come to find out, like, there's a lot of people I miss, so... I feel like this list pretty much wraps it up, honestly, but, you know, we're going to go from here. So, I'm going to wash my face, uh, do my moisturizer and shit, and then do a little something to my hair, and I'll be getting ready to head out. Just got out of the shower, you know what I'm saying? So, But yeah. All right, so. Let's see. So first on the list, we got Will Smith. And I can't believe I forgot about him on the last one. I just was thinking about so many people. I just ended up forgetting about him, I feel like. And so... Um, was it Sean Boost or what the fuck was that? See, and then Babe got so many products and he be bringing home shit. And so I'll be using shit. And sometimes uh, this should be in like um, European. Like a lot of his products that he be getting is like professional. So I don't be knowing what a lot of this shit is. You know what I'm saying? But it always works good. Right now, I've been preferring to use... This product. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah. All right. So, number one, we got Will Smith. And reason why, you know, I can't believe I even missed him on the first one. But the reason why... He's on here, y'all, definitely. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of men that were bisexual coming up in the 90s, and a lot of people just considered him straight because they could appear to be. But I'm going to actually show some examples of pictures right here. You know what I'm saying? Of guys that I feel like were, like, already bisexuals and stuff in the 90s, and nobody just really, like, gave a fuck paid attention or you know it just wasn't a thing but just to show like we always been around you know what i'm saying we always been around all right and uh you know we've always heard about the rumors about him and Dwayne martin so i definitely will put him on here next and let's see I don't know much about Dwayne Martin, but I know that he had a picture that went kind of viral in the gay community with his back turned in a Speedo or in some tight underwear, and that nigga is thick. So I definitely believe that him and Will, based on with uh, Jada, or not Jada, but what was her name? Lisa Ray has said about him or whatever. 
I definitely believe it because that nigga's caked up. Like, his body is banging. You know what I'm saying? Like, his body's bad. So, yeah, I definitely think so on that one. And... Let's see. We got who we got next? YK Osiris. I forgot about him on the last one as well, but a definite. I think that he was a boy toy or he is a boy toy for the Hollywood elites. And what else? Yeah, I think that Drake, Diddy, he's been like sugar babies to them because like there was a lot going on about that there for a minute. And nobody really uh, cared. Like it seemed like nobody really like caught on to that, but he was in the same island on the same island traveling with diddy but then did made it made it look like he wasn't and all this other stuff and so uh Then he had came out talking about the industry and how fucked up it was and how fake it was and all this other stuff. And he just gives that vibe, like definitely deal vibe. And if he wasn't, he was paid to do some shit, most likely. Like him and Bryce Shear Gray, a uh, dude off of Empire, uh, the youngest brother off of Empire. I feel like the both of them were uh, sugar babies. I've heard a lot of shit through the grapevine about them. So I feel like those two were uh, definitely uh, bisexual sugar babies. All right. Now my um my natural skincare lady did not come through. I don't know why I'm acting like. Come on, like, I don't put my hair back when I do this shit first. Uh, my natural skincare lady, she didn't come through yet. Like, she got some shit going on on her website or whatever. So, I'm letting her do her thing. But I will be promoting that later. But um, right now, I just, I'll just show y'all the products that I use. I ain't really tripping. Um, but y'all always ask because y'all always talk about my skin is good and all that. I use this when I don't have natural stuff because it is definitely good. I think for like all skin types. All right. So, and then yes, got to have one of these. Got to have your little scrubber. You know what I'm saying? To get in there. But, um, yeah, I feel like both of them were definitely like, you know, sugar babies and stuff for, uh, you know, Hollywood elites and, you know, rich niggas, you know. Um, so moving on, Tyler Perry, can't believe I missed him on the last one. I never think, I never, I always forget about certain people who I feel like obviously are gay. Honestly, y'all, when I first found out, like when I first started talking about Tyler Perry, I thought he was already out in the, in the community to where I was talking to gay people, to a group of people one day. And I was just like, um, when we was naming all the, you know, the gay celebrities and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, and Tyler Perry. And they were like, Tyler Perry's not gay. And I was like, what? I'm like, what you mean? Yeah, he is. Like, and so I already assumed that he was gay, but because he hasn't came out yet, everybody's going to consider him straight, but we know what's good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have not 
shaved. I mean, well, I have not shaved or manscaped or anything. So bear with me. I've been kind of woofing just because, like, I don't know, like, I don't be, uh, I don't be into uh, keeping up maintenance all the time and stuff. I'm really just hella chill when it comes to, like, that. And that's why I'm glad I got a boyfriend because, like, I don't have to, like, like, I have to uphold and maintain because I have a boyfriend, but I don't have to be, like, on 10 all the time. So... All right, and then so now we got, yeah, but yeah, Tyler Perry, y'all, like, he just hasn't came out yet, but we know he is, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can literally tell, like, I mean, like, it just, that's one I think, I think even obvious gay, I think straight people, like, everybody can tell that that nigga gay. I don't even think that one take one to no one, honestly. All right, so then we got, actually, I think I might go ahead and do that. But uh, now we got Blueface. Definitely Blueface. I mean, okay, I'm not gonna say definitely. I think Blueface has done it before, and or or maybe he's curious, or maybe he's done it with like DL homeboys in his um in his game or whatever. Cause y'all know that nigga's a uh, you know he's a he's a crib, and you know how they get down. So. I would say Yeah, I'm definitely gonna well I'll do it like tomorrow or something, but uh we need some more beard oil. Alright, well Gotta show them my actual skincare routine first. So I already did the CeraVe. Alright. So now I do we use Hydro Boost, Neutrogena, Water Gel as a moisturizer. So, yeah, Blueface is one that a lot of people would just scheme by, but I sense it, and I just sense it, you know, him liking rock and how masculine uh, she be looking and everything, and but you know what honestly he is one that i feel like he's maybe done it but it would it'd be someone a low low like or he the type of dude that like he'll let somebody like come on to him like in his sleep or something just to act like he ain't with it type of stuff like that's the kind of vibe that blue face gives when it comes to that but all that sagging that he do uh, with that little booty. Yeah. But this is actually the only dude on the list that I'll say, well, first of all, that I actually know, that I've actually met. And... Hold on. So, y'all, real quick break. I did not know that I had used Babes. See, that's how it be when y'all be living together. This is Babes Scrubber. And this is mine. And I don't even think shit of it. But yeah, already been done. So that process has been skipped. But mine does get in a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I just did the mic moisturizer. So now I'm going to roll. That is this tool right here. All right. So 
Well, um, well, first off, what I think this does, I never knew what the fuck this did, but what I now found out it does, it just soothes the skin and like really circulates the blood and all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's like a facial massage. All right. So yeah, like I was saying, blue face, that's the only one on this list that I actually know. And yeah. So, you know, he's, you just never know with a lot of these niggas, but uh, I guess you just say that about him. And then with Krishan saying that she found gay porn in his search history. Oh, y'all, another tip, a handsome tip, I'm going to call it. <laughs> Always roll up on the cheek. Like even when y'all like when y'all putting y'all's moisturizer on, always wipe up like that on the cheek, on your eye by your eye like that. Always up. Don't ever like wipe down. I don't know why or who I heard that from, but I feel like it worked. All right. Now. Tyson Beckford. Tyson Beckford. I've seen him laid up with a dude before. He's also a model. I believe that, you know, uh, most models are either bisexual or, homo or homosexual. There's also a lot of straight ones, but I feel like they'll also be the quickest ones to do gay for pay and et cetera. So, um, yeah. Plus, also can go under the accused of being gay, but not really gay. So he could also fall under that and just be accused of it because of his actual, his career, you know. So we'll do that. And then we do have a little bit of beard oil left. So I am going to use that. This was given to us by at the beauty salon. So I don't know, but uh, we both be on it. And the shit works good, so. Dabbing it in there like that. No, my boyfriend has a full beard. He wants me to grow mines out, but I'm like, nah. I just don't like full beards. I don't know what it is. Like, it just ages you quick. And so, uh, you see how long my shit got? It's funny how, like, my mom always told me, like, made fun of me, like, my hair on my head is, like, stringy and long, like, straight and shit, but it's also a little coily. And then, like, my facial hair is just straight nigga, like, because <laughs> it's straight up. <laughs> The shrinkage that black people have, I'm trying to tell you that sucks. Like, that really sucks because, like, when I be seeing, like, some of my cousins and stuff on my straight black side, they hair be long, too, but they be having so much shrinkage. Like, they should grow fast and everything, but it be so shrinkage, like, you just can't tell how that it's even long until they get their shit, you know, pressed out or whatever. Now, this right here, I don't do this all the time. I just do this just, like to lock it in. Well, actually, yeah, I do it to lock it in, but I don't keep it this way. Um, but I do do that just to lock it in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit. Baby don't like what I do it, though. He's like, that shit looks silly as fuck. Everybody give me mixed emotions on that, but I don't leave, I don't leave it like that long. So... And then when I undo it, see, I usually only sleep with my shit like this now. See, my shit is now just hella just, come on, bro. Damn, that shit is long, man. Like, I did not know that my shit was this long right now. 
Hold on. I may end up cutting it here soon. Damn. But uh, my bad, y'all. <laughs> I ain't as, concentra as concentrated as I usually am. But you know what? I gotta get used to doing some more shit before I start going live and all that, so I could be comfortable with going live. Like I need to start doing more shit on camera because like I be like doing way more than what y'all be seeing on my on my videos. You know what I'm saying? So okay. Now moving on down to tank. Uh, tank put on here because. Yeah, bro. Uh, gay. He's like a gay ally, but I don't buy it. I feel like he's also a part of the community. He's he admitted to like his booty ate, and he just looks like a gay man when you really look at him. He just looks like a masculine one or a bisexual man. So I would say definitely tank. Now moving down to Romeo, Romeo Miller, which is Lil Romeo. Uh, I don't know how I had just got past him so quick. I didn't even think about it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and say, Romeo, I do not think that he is. Honestly, I do not think that he is. And also, a lot of these people on this list were in my comments, so I'm just also putting them on here just so that y'all know of them, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that I addressed it because y'all commented and just to let y'all know what my opinion on, is on that person, so they may not exactly be assumed to be bisexual, but... Uh, I will let you know, like, because on the last one, I had already out baiters, straight baiters, uh, but not actually uh, gay. Then I had welcome to the gay community, meaning that we wish that we're gay. And then um, the gaydar doesn't go off, but people assume that they're gay. And with Romeo, the gay, I would say uh, he's welcome to the, the community. I feel like we all would like for him to be gay, but I honestly do not get gay vibes off of him. For real, for real. Now, Brody had gave me this uh, eye serum that I have got to get back. It's a Cetaphil eye serum, and I put that shit on my face, and it had my face so smooth. But right now, uh, we're using this. It's a Even and Radiant Raw Honey Dark Spot Correcting Serum. But I actually just spit, uh, skipped a, a stage because after that, it is... Toner. Where is Hmm. I wonder where what happened to the toner? Like, damn baby, did you take the toner to work or some shit? Oh. Babe did a mask on me the other day. He had did a whole pamper session on me. Uh where he like laid me down, do the mask, you know, do the whole process, uh, cleanse my face, um, all that good stuff. And so yeah, I forgot that he had did that, moved it. So Next, we do the facial toner, which is the reason why I don't mind uh, showing these products, y'all, is because honestly, like, it's just to help y'all or just to be, you know, here with y'all. But these motherfuckers don't need no goddamn uh, promotion, no way, shit. These motherfuckers is already rich. I ain't tripping on that shit. But no, these are not sponsored. They have not paid me, so... When I do get ones that do pay me, y'all will know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, with the toner. Just wanna. And this is for like sp dark spots, you know, color correcting so that your tone is even. I think this is one of the main reasons why y'all say my skin is so smooth is because all. I, even if I don't wash my face and do all these steps that I'm showing y'all right now, I definitely tone every day i will always use a toner because it, it just like 
makes my skin uh, breathe. And I have two hair bumps right here, y'all, by the way. So that's why I'm like waiting on cutting my hair down, like like actually like trimming up and manscaping because that's the bad side about having fast growing hair that's not just straight. You get a lot of hair bumps, certain areas. I always get mine like right here. All right, and so who's next? So yeah, Romeo goes on the wish list and he don't be gay baiting. And people have accused him of being gay, but I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? So now moving on to Trey Songs. Trey Songs is on here because Brody just slipped through the cracks on the last one, but Brody definitely is a a, a, a high ranking one. But the reason why I feel like a lot of people was requesting him to be on here because that was the one that was in my comments on the last one a lot. I feel like the reason why a lot of people think that he is is because they just want him to be, but I don't uh I don't really get it off of him either, y'all. He's just a badass nigga, you know what I'm saying? So it's hard for a pretty ass nigga to not come off bisexual, but he just don't really give me those vibes. Except for when he was with Chris Brown. For some reason I feel like him and Chris Brown could have had a little thing, but uh that's it. So now moving on to the like I said, the serum. All right, so then after that, we got Tyga. And a lot of people like to do this. A lot of people like to try to, like, dip it like that, but I don't like doing that for some reason. I just like to squish it in my hand. Dab it. And then just, you know, apply it to my, my face, like, evenly and shit. Tyga, I feel like he's another one that we want to be a part of the gay community, but I don't get it off of him either. Um, Tyga, y'all come from a wealthy background, with like a middle, upper middle class background. He didn't need to uh, be on no um, celebrity shit, but he just so happened to. So I feel like I don't know. I just feel like if he wanted to be, he would just be. But, you know, you never know for real with these niggas. But I don't get the vibe off of them. And that's just my honest opinion on Tyga. And that's the littlest booty award right there. Like, that nigga ain't got no ass. Like, I was looking for it for a while. Couldn't find it. All right. Now, moving on down to Omarion. Omarion, I do feel like he is. I feel like he was, like, preyed upon as a child with the whole Chris Stokes thing. And I feel like he had a bad experience and it was pressed on him. And now he's just not with it and he don't fuck with that. And, yeah. I feel like that's the case with a lot of them, like, even Lil Fizz a little bit, but I feel like Lil Fizz then got paid to get down and to get down in his booty or something. Cause I know I would have paid that nigga for real. Shit, I ain't even gonna cap. So uh Yeah. That's what I feel about all B2K members. I don't know, but I think that they all did have to do do it. They were all forced to do it but by Chris Stokes and stuff, and then you know. Uh, some of them might have kept doing it. Some of them might have kept getting paid for it. But most of them didn't do it because they had a bad experience. And a lot of straight dudes, that's why they don't like gay dudes. They're like, like that's why they be homophobic. Because they've had a bad experience or it's been forced on them as a child. So, yeah. All right. Now. Usher. Usher. I think has done it for the same like favors and reasons that like he's been preyed on by like R. Kelly and P. Diddy and stuff like that as well. And I feel like he's also done it as well. But I feel like these ones are not necessarily like bisexual, but they did a little something strange for a little piece of change. You know what I'm saying? 
Then Nelly, I do not get it off of Nelly. I think a lot of people wanted Nelly to be, he could be welcome to the community, but I don't think Nelly is. I'm just going to be honest, you know what I'm saying? Uh, DDG, which is the dude that got uh, Kylie, I mean, not Kylie, uh, oh, girl from The Little Mermaid pregnant. This nigga's bad as fuck. I'm not even going to cap. Like, I don't know what it is, but he just, you know, he. when I say bad, you know what I'm saying? I got, you know, that's like a nigga that's just like fly as fuck, nice body. Um, just got a look about him. And then masculine, but with feminine ways and stuff. Like, it's just, I don't know how to put it. Uh, another person that a lot of people would say was bad would be, uh, he was on my last one. Uh, he had got when he it went kind of a little viral in the community with him walking into the stadium. Do ex uh Drake's ex boyfriend, I cannot remember his name. Blonde hair, do Odell Beckham. That's another uh, definition of like a badass nigga. Like you know what I'm saying, like masculine but with flint with feminine energy and just like knows that his shit cocky. Like you know what I'm saying. I don't know, mysterious, all that. So yeah. Uh, I think DDG would be welcome to the community, but I don't think that he necessarily is, but that's a bummer. So I'll say that. And then who else? Oh, Keith Lee, popular food guru dude. I'm going to say Batty as well. Used to be a boxer. Uh, got feminine traits as well, uh, but he got a whole family and everything. I think that he's definitely uh, bisexual, though. You know what I'm saying? Just he just chose a woman. It's probably been more convenient, more in his lane. He, uh, but I see, I sense bisexuality, but I do sense that he's more straight. You know what I'm saying? Like he's straight leaning. Um, so yeah, Lloyd. Uh, all right. So wait, first, last step. Uh, Y'all know I'm an ageist. <laughs> so we got to do that age cream. You know what I'm saying? Shit, anti recalls you know? Shit. Got to get to it while we still young. And got it. You know what I'm saying? So with this one, y'all, I use this one more like an eye cream, but I do spread it across my face. So with this one, I would just like put under my eye like that. On both sides. And then this is where the roller can come back out. Okay. And on this one, I just use the smaller side. And you just want to like work it into the skin. Type shit. Until it dissolves. Alright. So. Who's next? Oh, Lloyd. Yeah, y'all. Uh, Lloyd. That's another one that everybody say my twin. I was always. I couldn't escape the Lloyd uh, com comparisons when I was in high school. Like, man, I was tired of that shit. I'd be like, yeah, but I look better, though. They'd be like, yeah, you do, but shit, you still look like that nigga. <laughs> My cocky ass. Um, But honestly, I don't know. I don't care if he is. Um... But I think he could have been, but also I think he's another one that could have been assumed to be and just really not. He just a pretty ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? So people automatically assume that. Also, now I'm gonna start putting this on my forehead a little bit. The age cream because Just fucking cuz. All right. So, yeah, I think he's one that's accused of it, but isn't really. And then Justin Bieber. Uh, 
Now, Justin Bieber's another baddie. Well, I'm the baddest white boy, damn near. Out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely bisexual. Um, I've heard it in Grapevine with the like with even Jaden Smith. Did I have Jaden Smith on last one? I sure did. Yeah, I think this is another Jaden Smith's uh, little uh, ex boyfriends or something. Real talk. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just believe that he has been. I feel like he done been preyed on and everything. And I feel like he has done it. And he just don't do it no more type stuff. Um, I think that he's one of those that, like, found, like, a reason to condemn it as a bad thing. Like, religion or whatever. Because I think he was on his whole religion moment, <laughs> movement there for a minute. He might still be so, but that dude that he was uh, under, that white dude that he was under, um, when he was on his whole religion movement, I feel like he was praying on Justin Bieber as well. So yeah, okay. All right, y'all. So y'all see the skin. Like I said, I'm woofing, so excuse the hair. But yeah. And what else? Who else? Keith Lee. Oh, I already talked about him. Soldier Boy. Definitely when him and Blueface had a little beef recently, I feel like that was giving such, like, they're trying too hard and all that. And I don't think it had anything to do with their sexuality. I think that was just childish. But, yeah. Uh, I've always thought Soulja Boy was. You know what I'm saying? He be showing his dick print. He be showing his ass print. That was, like, one of the first ultimate saggers out. You know what I'm saying? So, I do think... That he definitely is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, who else? Boosie. Oh, my bad. I went by Chris Brown. I mean, Soldier Boy, real quick. So, um, with Soldier Boy, I feel like he's one of those dudes that like trans. Honestly, like I really feel like he'll like trans because he just gives that, but like on the low low. They were saying to him and A Rab when he had first came out. Uh, shout out to A Rab, you know, black and Arabian, right along with your boy. Um, but yeah, I think that that was his boyfriend for a minute. Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah. Um, all right, now I would show y'all. Well, I kind of want to, but I don't feel like turning the blow dryer on. I'll do that another day. I don't feel like doing that. But I don't do a whole lot of process with my hair. I let Bay handle it. So, like, usually if I just get up, I just put on my cream, my curl cream, and uh, then I'll do this finishing spray. And that's just because this shit, it smell good as fuck. It dries like right now. I just been rocking it like this since now my shit got some hang time on it, and uh, I done been on Boosie's head hard, so I don't even think I even need to go ahead and cover that. But we know that uh, 
he's definitely obsessed with the gay community and extremely homophobic. So I feel like he has been experienced or exposed to something gay that he didn't like, or he's battling on the inside because a real straight man just does not give a fuck that much. You cannot stop nothing over here. We're going to still do what it is. We're going to still do what it is, bro. All right, then Nick Cannon. Now, Nick Cannon, I think Nick Cannon is like pansexual or something. Or I feel like because he didn't have sex with so many women, I feel like there's a high chance that he could mess with dudes as well. Because most of the times when a dude's like a player or is messing around with a lot of women, that's when they have a high chance of being uh, bisexual as well. Because, I mean, that's hypersexual. You know what I'm saying? Hypersexual niggas, you just never know. All right. And so... All right, we've got like three more left. So Nick, okay, so Tyrese. Now Tyrese, uh, mm, Tyrese, I think, used to get down probably in the back in the day when he first started because, you know, he started off as a model. And, uh, you know, that body's banging, always has been since baby boy days so i would say he could definitely be but he could also not be and he would also be one welcome to the community because i think all of us was jacking out to that sex scene in baby boy when he got up with his well when he laid down on her with that booty out and that back muscles like yeah so yeah uh definitely a possibility but he could also be accused of it and not actually lgbt he seems to be straight honestly um but i think we just so attracted to him from childhood that we would want him to be so we might think that he is all right a lot of times we as gay bisexual dudes we be assuming dudes are but really it because we be wanting them to be and not be because they actually are that's the reason why i put that segment on here where it was like they may look like we may want them to be they may seem like it in certain ways but in all honesty the gaydar does not come off on them or go off on them we just be wanting them to be and because we'd be so attracted to them we might see stuff that ain't even there and consider certain stuff gay that's not just because we want it to be there you know what i'm saying when you want it to be there you make it up in your head you know what i'm saying all right, so then now Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa definitely, if y'all haven't seen what he's been on lately, he has been on a lot of like thirst trapping print showing. So he's, he fits into the baiters category, straight baiters. But also I think that he is actually bisexual and he uses terms like when everybody was accusing him of being bi when he had just went viral for blowing smoke in his homeboy face in the studio. Well, that's what I'd be saying about bisexual men. They, they live in these gray areas where you can't say that's exactly gay but it's argumentable so then they can say i'm just being myself y'all on my dick get off my nuts da -da -da, get a life you know what i'm saying it's the cop out but yeah uh i think wiz is because of his subliminals the print showing the booty showing the working out in the the, the underwear you're skinny as fuck you look like a d a dyke on the low now as i look at him more and more He's starting to look more and more like dykish, like feminine dyke like, like masculine dyke like, you know what I'm saying? And then with the white toes, I, I'll post that picture too. The nigga posted a picture with white toes. You know that white toes has been the city girls like theme, you know, white toes and French tip nails. Uh, this nigga got white toes. Like, so you a bad bitch with? Is that what it is? That's what we're doing now, bro? Nigga, get out of here. You're definitely bisexual. I would love it if you come out because that would definitely be great for us as a community. But uh, yeah, y'all yeah, want to keep, you know, I feel like he's one of those bisexual dudes that stay on the DL for uh, career purposes and professional purposes. So yeah. All right. And then now, Offset. Offset, last but not least, because yeah, bruh. Uh, the whole Michael Jackson look and all the switching up and trying to be androgynous as a straight man is not getting past me. I can see it. I feel like you're getting more in touch with your feminine side. 
And, you know, I find a lot of men like him that have a lot of kids and they've already done a lot of shit with women. A lot of them start to explore themselves because they've already gotten everything checked off. They've been married and had the kids and did everything. So it's like, you know, there's really nothing that would, I don't know, like, y'all get what I'm saying. So... <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yes, sir. Top off a of Noah's Ark movie. I forget his name. Why well, I look like that nigga on the low right now? I don't know why I just seen that. So yeah, y'all. This how. Cause y'all forget. Yeah, I'm mixed, but I'm mixed with colors though. I ain't white. I ain't got no white in me. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Y'all and my boyfriend cannot stand my hair like this. <laughs> Not because it's more black, don't get it twisted, but just because, like, my shit be a lion's mane. True Leo, my nigga. Leo shit. You know what I'm saying? Alpha males around here, bruh. The darker the mane, the, the, the thicker the juice. The, the bigger the mane, the bigger the ego. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I feel like I'm on my Cali nigga shit, but I'll be like this though. I ain't gonna cap. Put it to the side a little bit. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Cali boy shit. Man, just getting ready to go to the beach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit. All right, though, y'all. Y'all know what it is. 
I'll see you on the next one. Peace. No, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say. No, I don't give a fuck about what anyone say. Baby, how much I really take?